Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another video, folks. Today, in this video, I am bloody excited. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing an IKEA bloody bed in the back of this van. You guys may have seen it in plenty of other videos, but we're going to be using the score of beams. We're going to be putting some slats on. Then we've got a double mattress to go on. I am so excited to be doing this part of the van build now. It's going to make it start coming. Pardon me. It's going to start making it come to life a lot more. And I'm dead excited about doing this. I know it's going to be hard work today, but we're going to get the bed in today. But to give you guys a rundown on what I've done so far as part of the process of building this van, you're probably going to see three lots of these throughout the width. The bed I'm using is pretty much all from Ikea. They're called Scorver Beams and Scorver Beam Brackets. You'll see in a moment when I start putting them on, they're telescopic sliders, um, which pretty much just go all the way across the length of the vehicle. They are actually off a bed as well. Um, I'll link it all in the description so you can have a look at the parts I've used for this bed in case you guys want to give it a go yourself. The first process of this bed build then was pretty much getting these Scorver Beam Brackets fitted either side and either side over there as well. The purpose for that as well is you'll see a little lip on the bracket. Now the actual beam itself just sits in there, but I am gonna have to put a screw through as well because I, I do get a feeling they're a little bit unsteady in, in places as well. So without further ado, let's start getting these beams slotted in and maybe have a look at getting them screwed in. Or in fact, we'll have to get the slats in first and then screw them in after, I think. What could possibly go wrong? Bam, 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 bam. Here we go, folks. This is it. This is the Scorver beam from IKEA. This is how you fit them. So you'll be able to see the Scorver beam bracket here, uh, and we saw the lip on the edge of the beam here. That just slots in, just like that. You can see here as well, there's like a little ridge here because it's, it's telescopic, and it actually just sits in there. So there we go, that's just how it looks there. You just get it somewhere where you think it's gonna sit well, which to me is there. We can get the next one in, and then it's gonna start looking like a bed. So I've managed to screw the first few in and that, those need to be pushed over so that'll give me plenty of clearance over there as well. <laughs> I knew that had happened. <laughs> now we're back somewhere level, let's carry on. Hey, what you doing? Oh, right, well, I am just screwing the slats down at the moment. Um, do you know why we need slats on the bed? Yeah. Go on then. Because you don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, sleep it on here. <laughs> yeah, because you could go right down. Well, that's your bed, so it wouldn't matter, would it? <laughs> right, before you the trigger when you do this you've got to hold it so that drill is in line with the screw so there and then just gently press it and then off Whoa. perfect just show you guys that one <laughs> nice mate right so she's going to attempt one on her own go for it mate keep it straight and gently press the button perfect look at that ladies and gentlemen <laughs> He's doing it, getting my holes ready for um, me screwing it. You want to do this right there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to trust you. We need something to go on here. A mattress. A mattress. A mattress, yeah. Big brain idea. I 1000 IQ. Definitely not a thousand. You definitely have not got a thousand IQ brain, mate. Yes, I do. Your brain is probably the size of, I don't know, a grain of sugar. Nice. 
nice one, mate. So now that the beams are all in, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to put the mattress on. And that brings me on to today's video sponsor. Sulong Mattresses. Yeah, so a massive thanks to Sulong Mattresses for reaching out and actually wanting to collaborate on this on this van build. Um, and they've actually sent me one of their um, deluxe range of mattresses. I'm gonna put a little clip off their website now just to show you guys the mattress that I've gone for. Um, to begin with, I did opt for the European double size, which is a little bit more width and a little bit more longer. But then after doing some remeasurements after the cladding went in, uh, I actually contacted uh, Sulong and just said, look, a UK double will actually be ample, which is 190 centimetres in length. And I think it's 130 width ways as well. So it's basically a UK double size. But it's time for us to lift this double mattress up now and get it. What's, and what's that you've got there? Oh, it's a cutter. What does it do? So, there's a little sharp blade, yeah. and you can cut it across, but remember, don't slice the mattress. <laughs> I'd be terrified if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this says, as well, about three to four hours to let it fully plump up. Um, but yeah, we're, we're only going to be fitting some... Oh, I can't tell you, but we're going to be fitting something else after this anyway. Random so, something. Yeah, it's going to be random. Because I don't it? know. Yeah, yeah, you do, I told you. I don't. No, I didn't, because you've got a gob the size of the Mersey Tunnel. <laughs> right, let's do this. I can't believe it guys, that fits perfect, look at that. So I'm going to keep the polythene on for a little bit longer because I've still got work to do but yeah there is a little bit of a gap here but that's fine. Nothing much, much. in fact we could Move that up a little bit, that's it. Oh, yeah. Excellent. You happy with that, are you? Yeah, it's incredible. Good job, man. That was excellent. Anyway, let's uh, crack on a little bit more with this. We'll let it plump yeah. up, and then we'll give you a rundown about this mattress and why we opted for this one. There it is, folks. It's in, and I'll tell you what, we've just actually lay on it, me and Little, and it's uh, comfy as hell. I'll put a little picture on now of me and Little on here. Um, it's brilliant. Right, the reason why we um, we opted for this mattress is because we know the bed is so high off the ground here and we didn't want one that came up to here. So this one is the 20 centimeter UK double mattress. It is the hybrid mattress from Sulong. So what I mean by the hybrid is inside here, you've got your standard pocket springs, but in the top half here, you've got wavy memory foam and then you've got also a thin layer of medium density foam. I'll put a screen grab on now just to show you the layers of which each mattress is, but this is the shortest one in height that they did, and this is why I opted for it, just to give us a little bit more clearance um, for sitting up and for lying down, etc. So 20 centimeters in height. It might not look it at the moment, but why is that? Because it takes 72 hours to fully buff up Yep, she's absolutely spot on. It takes 72 hours to completely fluff up and to be and to fulfill its actual height as well. But we're just going to leave it for the moment. We've got some other jobs to do. And typical, just started to rain, hasn't it? Yeah. So what you've actually just seen then was probably about two weeks ago. And if you want to see what the van's looking like now, make sure you stay tuned and keep following. Um, it's right in front of me and I'm absolutely loving this, but I've got to make it. I was out last night on a wild van camp with Taft's Destination. Uh, didn't film it because I want to go out on my own and make my first one out on my own. But let me get it tidied, then I'll show you. So just before I give you guys a quick look around, and this is going to be a very much up-to-date version, as of the whatever date it is, it's Saturday morning. I'm not gonna show you too much of the van because I wanna do a proper van tour. And if I've showed you too much already, then you guys are gonna be thinking, all right, well, I've all seen this anyway. So, so here's what I've done with the bed so far. So there we go, guys. This is what it's looking like now. I've managed to put some 18 mil ply board and carpeted it all along here, down there. And I am bloody chuffed with it. 
I must admit, I went out last night on this wild camp, um, or wild van camp, I went out with Task Destination. Um, he actually made a video of that, so if you want to go and see it, make sure you go and visit Task Destination's channel. It was great to be out. The mattress, I cannot mention enough how comfy that mattress was. And I think it's because it's the hybrid version of where it's a pocket spring and also it's got that memory foam topper and some medium density foam in it. But I slept like a log. I think I must have been out from about half past ten to half past seven this morning. So if you're in the process of building a camper van and you've been using the IKEA bed frame, make sure you go and check out Sulong mattresses. If you go and have a look at the other premium mattress companies, you're going to be touching nigh on a grand, I think. This is surprisingly cheap and all the other deluxe mattresses on their website are surprisingly cheap as well. So if you're doing a van build, go and check them out. I know she's watching. Massive thanks to my gorgeous daughter for her great help on this bed. It was fun. Um, it's never normally fun when she's involved because she'll bugger off after about two minutes because it's, <gasps> just to give you guys an idea, when we started cleaning the van, when we first got it, she said, I want to help, I want to help. I said, oh, here you go, then here's a cloth, damp down, or wipe down all the dust in here. Oh, oh, I'm going in. <laughs> that was it. But she was a massive help. So thanks, Izzy, if you're watching this, darling. And a massive thanks to you guys for staying along and watching this video. And I hope you've been enjoying the van build as we've been progressing through it. I haven't really filmed much of the progress. You guys have sort of seen it from when I put the kitchen in to what it's like now. But there's been a massive bulk change. But I enjoy reading all the comments that you guys leave. There's been some great feedback. There's been some constructive criticism, which is great. I'm all open to that because maybe on the next van build, if I do one, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do things, look at that differently. Which reminds me, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, please, and leave us a comment if you can. Love reading them. And if you're new to the channel and you're watching, thank you ever so much. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really does help me out, guys. And I'll see you in next week's video.